You might ask yourself, what is all the fuss around the Place Stanislas? Well, first, it hosts several beautiful and fun events throughout the year, but I will talk about these in another recording. Then, it is a beautiful example, example of classical architecture. But let me tell you a bit more about its history, so you will see its importance in the history of the city. Before 1737, the Place Stanislas was just a physical border between the old and the new city. In 1737, when Stanislas Lezinski became Duke of Lorraine, he decided to build this square with the help of the architect Emmanuel Herre to honor his son-in-law, the King Louis XV. To do so, a statue of the king was placed at the center and the square was called the Place Royale, or Royal Square in English, when it was inaugurated in 1755. What happened to this statue? Well, it was removed by the revolutionaries during the French Revolution in 1793, as it was a symbol of the royal power. It is only in 1831 that a statue of Stanislas will replace it and that the square will take the name it still has today, the Place Stanislas. The other common name we use is La Place Stan. More recently, in 1983, the square entered the list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites as well as the Place de la Carrière and the Place d'Alliance. The same year, parking on the square was forbidden after it had been turned into a parking lot in 1958. In 2005, it was renovated to have the beautiful appearance it has today. About its architecture, the metal gates are from Jean Lamour. Take a look at the details and you'll see the thin gold layers on them. The two fountains represent Neptune, Roman god of fresh water and sea, and Amphitrite, Greek sea goddess. When it freezes in winter, you will see the water of the fountains freeze too, which is very pretty. Around the square are restaurants, nightclubs, the opera, the Museum of Fine Art, the Grand Hotel, and the city square, all built by Emmanuel Airy. Facing Stanislas' statue is the Airy Arc, also one of his creations. 